Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Tico with Music ID TV, your home for B2B big music news. So, iHeart Inc. has done it. They have finally done it. It is true. They have filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. According to Music Business Worldwide, Billboard, and a multitude of other publications, it had finally happened. iHeart has filed for bankruptcy, and this is the number one radio station in America. But the thing is, iHeart plans to continue to do business as usual. If you all haven't seen, there's been celebrities posting videos and photos from the iHeart Radio Music Awards this past weekend or so. So, iHeart isn't trying to miss a beat or skip a beat with this filing of Chapter 11 bankruptcy. But the creditors are not very happy about this because basically what this is doing is allowing for a judge to play referee on who can get paid based off of iHeart's books. Now, iHeart restructured their balance sheet to bring their debt down from $20 billion, which has been one of the biggest issues that they have, that $20 billion debt, or the big issue that they have, down to $10 billion, but they still owe certain creditors. Some of those creditors are Spotify, Warner Music, Sony Music, Sound Exchange. iHeart has a lot of back royalties that they still need to pay. And it's kind of weird that the number one radio station hasn't paid out radio royalties. I mean, that's pretty insane. So you have some creditors who are actually like, you know what, iHeart, let's take this to New York State Court and let's see if we can get them to put a lien on some of your radio assets to make sure you pay us the money that we're due. This debt originally occurred in 2008 from a large leverage buyout for $18 billion. That $18 billion moved up to $20 billion, which has been sitting on IHEART's books for the past 10 years or so. Now, iHeart is making a motion to try and settle this, figure this out, or maybe lose the company. It might go belly up completely. Even though iHeart's hopes are for them to continue business as usual, sometimes this information gets out and it starts to affect the company internally because when employees find out that the company's going bankrupt or they're selling, sometimes they decide to jump ship and that creates a situation where the company can potentially implode amongst itself, even if the chapter 11 bankruptcy isn't what does it. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you believe will occur with iHeartRadio? Do you think we'll continue to see them try and continue business as usual? Do you think that some of these folks might be able to get their money back by leveraging some of iHeart's radio assets? What do you think is going to happen with this situation? Ultimately, this affects the whole music industry if we were to see iHeart go. But it's official, folks. Chapter 11. Beyond that, be sure to share with a friend, like, and subscribe for more videos. Don't be afraid to hit the notification button so you can stay informed. We are posting four news videos per week. Join the sub club. Once again, my name is Tuco with Music ID TV, your home for B2B music news. Sad I just want to stun on all my exes. I'm going to make sure that they get the message. A shrink on these are my confessions. I just want to shut the team and take it all off.